So let me quickly show you how Still Exporter version 1.2 supports also timecode in the file naming. So by default, Still Exporter uses the name of the sequence followed by the number of markers as file name. Now you can insert any other placeholders here. And if I enter just hashtag, you can see them all listed here. And here you find timecode and timecode with parentheses. Timecode just prints the timecode in default time. So our first marker here is at 0 hours, 0 minutes, 24 seconds and 21 frames and so it prints it down like this. Um, if you want a different time code, you can select the different time code by right clicking here and choosing for example feet and frames. And if we go back to Quick Importer, you can see it also prints it as feet and frames. So it always uses the time code that you have chosen here in Premiere Pro. And also if you say I like this but I don't like the underscore but I like maybe no separator at all, you can put here in parentheses nothing and then you can see it has no separator symbol between these numbers or you can give any separator symbol you like. For example, you could go for a minus instead of a, a underscore and then it uses here a minus between the different parts of the time code. Just keep in mind that you can put here only symbols that are actually allowed in file names. So colons are for example not allowed in file names so you cannot use this as a separator here. That's all you need to know. If you now click on export frames and markers it's going to export all these files for you.